If you're buying a sliding head machine and want to remain globally competitive, then you need to consider the unmanned run. So this video is going to cover automation when buying a sliding head. So Steve, let's start off with the bar feed. What options have we got here then? Nowadays, at multiple from one meter to six meters from the six, you know, loading a billet to loading bars from a bundle loader where you're making shafts at two meters long. So yeah, it's, there's, there's a it's vast variety. Of yeah, there is variety. <laughs> there's a lot of yeah. variety. And then we go into the machine because we need to cover the software then because how does it all work together? Well, you know, the, the first bit is putting the material in. So we've covered that and then producing the parts. Obviously cutting tool technology changes all the time. High pressure coolant. Then you've got software, you know, we have Step Cycle Pro, which again enables you to control the swarf to a better degree, which gives you more, more options for lights out running. Okay, and how does someone program all of this? Is that all kind of included? Is it easy? Yeah, Step Cycle Pro is very, very simple. There's a screen on there. It's just a simple couple of presses of a button. Okay, perfecting the unmanned run, but we've also got to get the component off the machine as yep. well for lights out. Yeah, so as a, in a, um, on, on every machine, there's certain uh, restrictions on length of component. So on a 32 millimeter machine, you can inject up to 150 millimeters forward. So that would come through a parts catcher along on a parts conveyor and out into, the, into a tray. If you're doing longer parts, then we come out through this area where we have long parts and we can make long parts injection systems to, to, to cover whatever you want to do. If you're making shafts 300 mil or you're making shafts two meters long, they, they bespoke units, but this, you know, the, the, the system of doing it is very straightforward. So there's bespoke, but also standard options. Yeah, I mean, yes, from a conventional sliding head user, there's, it's quite simplistic to the most complex engineering challenges. There's a solution from whether it be in bar loading, the actual manufacturing production, and the exiting, so the in-process gauging, there's always a solution.